so I thought I would do a vlog about um, December daily. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while and haven't actually done it. And it's now summer and Scorchio and I... So it's like no better time to talk about winter and Christmas than the middle of the year when it's really, really hot. Um, yeah, so... I did a video at the beginning of December and said that I was going to be doing December daily in 2016 and I did it. I have recorded a flip through of this, um, of the whole December daily that I did and I'll post that up as a separate video for those of you who just want to watch the flip through. Um, but yeah, I did it and I tell you what, I feel so flipping fantastic that I did it. <laughs> so this, um, I bought a traveller's notebook, a fabric one especially for doing a December daily. This one I got from Etsy and um, it was a, a geeky dory. I love it, I do love it very much. Um, although unfortunately I've put it somewhere where it has seems to have gathered lots and lots of dust so I need to de-dust it. So I ummed and ummed and ahmed about doing a December daily because I wasn't sure if I um, could commit to doing something every day. Um, you know, because life's busy as it is with work and family and then throwing Christmas on top of it and, you know, we have so much going on at Christmas. Um, I wasn't really sure that I would be able to keep up with it and um, and actually do it. But I made a commitment to myself and, you know, I did it. And I, in fact, did longer than, the, than December. I actually did um, from... A little bit in November because we went on holiday on holiday in November we went to um, Centre Parks for their winter wonderland and because it was Christmassy I wanted to um, document that so I added it into the same same December daily um, and I did the whole flipping thing right the way through to um, New Year's Eve now I wasn't sure as to what format I wanted to do the December daily in um, I know a lot of people you do the um, pocket style, you know, like Ali Edwards kit uh, with the ring binder and the pockets that you slip your photos in and everything. I thought about doing that, but the reason I didn't do that is because I don't print my photos at home. Um, and I thought that if I wanted to do it and do it properly I'd need to print my photos like every single day and because I don't print my photos at home then I would have to either send away for them or um, um, you know like go to Tesco's or whatever and get them printed and doing that it would mean that I wouldn't be able to do them every single day um, so I decided to do it in a traveller's notebook rather than um, you know the traditional sort of pocket style way um, and I actually flipping loved it <laughs> I made my own insert and um, because I love making my own traveler's notebook inserts and I put a variety of different papers in there scrapbook papers I put some um, project life pockets in there um, and different sizes and I absolutely flipping love it um, and for my photos, I used my Polaroid zip printer. So I printed my photos every night. And you know what? I did it every single night. I made sure I took a photo every day. And um, some days I took more photos than I needed, you know, because I was only doing one a day. And I found it hard to narrow it down. Some days I did put more photos in, um, which obviously is absolutely fine because it's your, your December day and it's absolutely fine to do that and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I look at it quite regularly to be honest and so for me like even though I was busy, even though I was knackered, some days I just wanted to like crawl in bed at the end of the day. I am just absolutely over the moon that I that I did it because I look back on it and I look back on all those special memories. It was our first Christmas with Miss B and so we um, did some different things you know we went and you know like from like what we would normally do at Christmas time we did different things because we had a child with us um, we did some of the same things but um, it was just really lovely and to, to look back at some of the things we did and experienced just absolutely 
absolutely fantastic and I really really enjoyed doing it being able to quickly print the photos from your phone on the um, on the Polaroid zip printer was amazing because I just sat down at the end of the night and just printed one off and stuck it in my book wrote a little bit I didn't write tons you know um, I some days I wrote a load but other days it was just like a couple of sentences not a lot and I don't think you need a lot just to capture the essence and what you've done that day but um yeah having done it I have like this massive sense of achievement and I kept on top of it every single day until Christmas um obviously Christmas day and boxing day is a bit like ah um so then I had to kind of like catch up on those days afterwards um and then my parents came um for a week and I kind of abandoned it entirely but then once they'd gone in the new year I then went back and redid those days um, I have to admit that those days where I went back um, when my parents were here those days when I had to re-go back and redo those pages I am not as in love with those pages as the ones that I did on the day I think they lack something because um, uh, it's just kind of hard to go back for me for me I find it hard to go back and redo stuff because I'm like when it's on that day I feel very present in the day still and I can remember what happened and I find it a lot easier to document that day but going back um, I found it quite difficult um, so I wish I kind of set aside five minutes all it needed was five minutes I kind of wish I'd set aside five minutes during my parents visit to do that um, so that's something that I've learned from for next year. Um, I definitely want to do it again next year. I'm so like into it for next year. I what I did is I made myself like a little pack for downstairs because um, I did it every night downstairs in the in the front room, like while sitting on the sofa watching telly or what have you. Um, I made like a little um, a Ziploc bag up of washi tape and enamel dots and stickers and things, and I literally just used those. So when we were downstairs. Um, I just pulled out my little bag. I kept my bag in the um, drawer of the sideboard um, and just kind of rifled um, through that when I was doing it. I did have some green-eyed monster little jealousy um, throughout the month when I was looking at other people's um, projects. I kept thinking, oh, I really, really wish I'd done the pocket style in an album. Um, I really wished at the time, you know, like I'd done that. But now I look back, I think no, I think you were right to do the, to do it the way you, the way you did do it. And I would certainly do it again next year. And as I said, like the reason, although they look beautiful in those pockets, um, I just don't know how I would get my photos printed, and then I'd have to go back and do it. And that's not me. That's not how I document my memories. Um, I took tons of photos it made me take tons and tons of photos to the point as I said that I couldn't necessarily um, narrow it down which is fine because I've now also got a load of photos for my project life album you know and our, and our family and stuff which is really really good um, it kind of made me um, like on days where we didn't necessarily like go out and do anything it made me get creative and take other photos and I just want to show you what I mean. As I said, I have got a flip through on um, on my channel um, coming up. But I just wanted to show you what I meant. So, um, things where we didn't necessarily go out. I um, We made some um, Christmas decorations. And so I just took a photo of the Christmas decorations that I made. So it looks extreme close up. Um, it's so hot today, I don't know why I'm talking about Christmas on such a hot day. And then something else, like just to document, this here was, um, this top bit here is the shelf above my radiator. And I just had like some Christmas ornaments on it. And then below on my radiator was all of Miss B's Christmas jumpers. Um, well this one was just a winter one because it's a penguin one, but that was a reindeer one and a Father Christmas jumper. Um, and I just thought that was really, really cute to see um, all the Christmas jumpers drying on the radiator. And I just thought that was something like really, really um, cute to document. Don't get me wrong, I think it's lovely to um, document the people and what the people are doing. But I also enjoyed um, 
documenting other things like when we went for a Costa coffee um, I don't go for coffee very often we, I just don't live any near places like I have to like drive places to go to a coffee place and so don't really drink coffee so when we do it's a real treat and then you know like documenting what the Christmas tree looked like when it was all decorated and um, some of the ornaments that were on my sideboard I just really enjoy documenting other things things that we did as a family and the people but then yeah as I say like other little things like that really enjoyed it so for me the December daily was a positive experience got a chunky little um, insert there there is room for another one in there I'm sure so I shall keep this for next year um, yeah so for me it was a really positive experience and I really really enjoyed doing it and I thought I would share with you for those of you who were kind of like umming and ahhing last year about whether to do December daily and wondering about whether to do December daily this year if it's for you then like I totally recommend it and um, <clears throat> I can't wait to do it again this year getting all cosy that was the thing like um, if we didn't have the TV on we had some music on and the candles lit <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me and some hot chocolate and just had like a really really cozy snuggly evening and read books and did some journaling and stuff and it was really really nice so a bit of a drink mm. so I would 100% recommend it and I can't wait to do it next year but I just thought I'd share with you that I did it whoop, 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 and my thoughts and my next video um, uh, well I don't know if it'll be my next video but I've filmed a, a flip through and so you can um, look at that soon thanks for watching guys bye I don't know what I'm doing with my hands but bye